Now to tell the story of why we're seeing such record level lows on the Mississippi River, you have to look back to the north towards the Great Lake region. A lot of this area has been experiencing plenty of drought and so a lot of that water feeding back down to the southern half of the Mississippi River well, it's going to be starved of a lot of that water. So as it makes its way through St. Louis, still seeing a lot of extreme and severe drought and eventually down towards Memphis, where they just recorded negative 11.85 feet for the river level, a record breaking low that's been longstanding for quite some time and actually going to cause a lot of barges to only be loaded to half capacity. So they're not sinking too low and becoming stuck. Now, eventually still going to see extreme drought even down in Louisiana, most of the state. So still seeing issues as it feeds back into the Gulf. Talking to the Corps of Engineers St. Louis office, they said they currently have two dredges operating to maintain a nine foot deep channel to allow for barge transportation. Typically this dredging season ends near the start of December, but conditions last year called for dredging through January, which is starting to look like the case we might see this year. Now looking at the Missouri River levels, it's actually not looking as bad. I actually talked to the Corps of Engineers out of Kansas City earlier today, and they were saying they're not having any issues right now with transportation of barges. A lot of this has to do with kind of where that water originates. So decent amount of rain this past spring, and it's continuing to see a good area. Now, as we go a little bit further down to the southeast, back towards mid-Missouri, there is some extreme and severe drought that we've been experiencing for long standing time. But a lot of that feeder water into our region actually not looking too bad. So although river levels are low, not causing any issues right now.